I feel blessed to be a, a physician scientist, a, a translational researcher uh, in the field of neurodevelopmental disorders at this point uh, in, in uh, scientific history. Over the last several decades, we've identified dozens and hundreds of genes associated with uh, neurological disorders. And we now have the tools for the first time to be able to uh, make an impact, a true impact uh, in the clinic, in, in the care of those patients. My name is Mustafa Sahin. I'm a child neurologist at Boston Children's Hospital and Harvard Medical School. Uh, my lab works on uh, neurodevelopmental disorders, especially those with a genetic basis. I have been working uh, on neurodevelopmental disorders, especially rare genetic disorders uh, that are associated with uh, intellectual disability and autism for the past two decades. And over the last 20 years, the, the way we take care of these patients uh, has changed dramatically uh, thanks, thanks to advances in translational research. We now have uh, FDA approved drugs for um, epilepsy, for brain tumors, for kidney tumors uh, for these patients. My hope for the future is that we'll be able to develop better tools to be able to identify uh, it, uh, improvements in brain function in behavioral outcome of these patients. Uh, we refer to these tools in, in, in several cases as biomarkers. Uh, these are potentially more objective, more sensitive uh, ways of measuring uh, uh, improvement in various uh, aspects of brain function and development. So we are hoping that by using biomarkers, we may be able to accelerate research in uh, clinical aspects of neurodevelopmental disorders. Uh, when the COVID pandemic started uh, in March of this year, uh, our lab, our basic science lab, essentially came to a halt. Uh, we also obviously had to deal with how do we do clinical research in a safe way for, for our participants. We were actually in the midst of a clinical trial uh, and we informed our participants that uh, uh, they could withdraw from the research if they did not feel safe. Uh, remarkably, none of the families withdrew from the research. And despite some delays, we were actually able to finish that clinical trial in September of this year. So I'm quite proud of the fact that we were able to get through COVID for that particular trial uh, safely, safely and effectively. Translation in my mind is bringing findings from the basic science labs to the clinic uh, in order to improve the lives of individuals affected with uh, the disorders. Uh, one example in this field that has been particularly inspirational has been the progress in a rare disease called spinal muscular atrophy. This is a disorder that affected babies um, and the babies born with this um, disorder would have muscle weakness, uh, respiratory problems and would die by, the, by around age two. But due to advances in translational research, um, there are now three FDA-approved treatments for these uh, babies. And with these treatments, they can now um, sit, sit independently, they can breathe without a ventilator, many of them can uh, take steps and walk and reaching their milestones, which is incredible uh, for a child neurologist to see. So we're hoping what happened in spinal muscular atrophy will be uh, a, a guide for many other neurological and neurological disorders.